Hey, everybody, welcome back to Jay is for Justice. My name is Jay and I'm your host. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and giving this video a like if you do. In today's video, we are going to go over some of the happenings in the Delphi case. As we all saw last week, the Supreme Court ordered Richard Allen's original lawyers back on the case. And yesterday, Judge Fran Gull denied some motions. Let's get into it. Court documents say investigators found important evidence against Richard Allen at the crime scene. And, but Allen's attorneys say the Carroll County Sheriff lied in order to get the search warrant. And therefore, all the evidence should be suppressed. Monday afternoon, Judge Frangal disagreed. She denied the defense team's request for a hearing to determine whether the sheriff lied and whether the evidence should be tossed out. Gall said the affidavit the sheriff filed to search Richard Allen's home and car was reasonable. And in her ruling, she said the court does not find that the sheriff submitted false statements or omitted statements with reckless disregard, nor does the court find that the sheriff intended to mislead the judge by failing to present information. In addition to everything you just heard, Judge Gall is also going to schedule a hearing for the movement of Richard Allen and his request and also on additional charges for Richard Allen. This ought to get interesting, but I thought this would be a good time to review the search warrant and refresh our minds on what exactly they found in Richard Allen's vehicle and house. The first item up for bid is the car search warrant. This was a search warrant on a 2016 Black Ford Focus SE located at 1967 North Whiteman Drive in Delphi, Indiana. The Black Ford Focus SE is located on the property. They were ordered to search Richard Allen's vehicle for handguns, 40 caliber ammunition, knives, blue sweatshirts and jackets, black sweatshirts and jackets, clothing, electronic devices, and a cell phone with phone number 317-612-4533. Any other cell phones and any other electronic devices located in or on the locations described above. Law enforcement is, in, is authorized to search these areas to determine whether or not there has been a violation committed as described in the affidavit at the residence, in the yard, the vehicle, and any apparentances. And now we have the return on this search warrant of Richard Allen's home on Whiteman Ave and his vehicle, the Ford Focus. Sealed cardboard box containing one black Sig Sauer P226 40 caliber handgun. Sealed plastic bag containing one 40 caliber S&W cartridge found in wooden keepsake box on dresser between both closets in master bedroom. So he had a cartridge stored in a keepsake type box. The gun and the cartridge are both checked for lab exam. Sealed plastic bag containing one 40 caliber S&W cartridge found inside the handgun. Sealed plastic bag containing two magazines, one filled with nine 40 caliber cartridges and one with eight. Sealed paper bag containing one black Sig Sauer handgun case containing one trigger lock with two keys. A sealed paper bag containing a paper wrapped wooden weave box containing two audio box devices, one silver Motorola flip phone, one silver Motorola flip phone, four car chargers, and three wall outlet chargers. So we have a total of two audio box devices, one silver flip phone, two silver flip phones. So we have four phones, four phones. We also have a sealed plastic bag containing one Lexar compact flash one gigabyte memory card. 
a sealed paper bag containing one pair of dirty thoroughgood boots, size seven and a half men. And then we have one pair of dirty black boots, size six and a half. Sealed envelope containing one silver double-edged knife and a silver metal sheath. Sealed envelope containing one brown gold and silver folding knife. Sealed envelope containing black sheath containing one brown gold and one silver folding knife. And none of these are checked for lab exam. Sealed envelope containing one black sheath containing one black handled silver blade imperial knife. One black sheath containing one foldable knife with a red gold handle. Sealed envelope with one sheath containing two Ozark trail knives. One black sheath containing one knife with a wood ivory handle and gold guard. Sealed envelope containing one rusted old timer folding knife. One sharp two bladed folding knife. One black folding Gerber knife and one black folding knife. A sealed envelope containing one red handled Crossley multi-tool, one blue multi-tool, one green and gold Indiana National Guard multi-tool, and one black multi-tool. Sealed envelope containing one black sheath, containing a brown handled silver bladed Sabra Bowie knife. A sealed paper bag containing one blue jacket with red stripes, Adidas. One blue quarter, quarter zip sweatshirt. Black and green fox hooded sweatshirt. Black and gray north end coat. One blue Carhartt coat. One pair Timberland boots, size eight. One pair of blue Arizona jeans, 34 by 29. One pair of blue Arizona jeans, 34 by 29. Another pair of blue Arizona jeans, 34 by 29. A pair of Levi Strauss jeans, 34 by 29. And another pair of Levi Strauss jeans. One winter gray hat with fur-like fibers. One black and red UFC hooded sweatshirt with a full zip. A quarter zip George sweatshirt. Quarter zip Walmart sweatshirt. One blue George sweatshirt quarter zip. One blue Kenneth Cole sweatshirt one blue Fruit of the Loom sweatshirt, and one blue Starter sweatshirt, and one black Spider hooded sweatshirt, one blue sweatshirt with an old label, one blue Adidas sweatshirt, one brown fitted cap with a small bill, sealed paper bag containing one black WRI stocking cap, one black NASCAR Ford racing stocking cap, one black Adidas stocking cap, one red, white, and gray, brown Canada stocking cap, one gray and black Adidas skull cap. One gray and white NFL Colts skull cap. One brown Carhartt stocking cap. A bag containing 10 pairs of gloves and one extra glove. Maybe Michael Jackson visited. A bag containing one blue fabric strap and one blue green fabric strap. Fabric strap. Hmm. A box containing one HP laptop, another one HP pavilion laptop, and then a plastic bag containing multiple headbands. One cardboard box containing miscellaneous cellular information. Were the girls wearing headbands? Was something taken from the scene, possibly? Um, one cardboard box containing miscellaneous cellular information. One paper bag containing one Winchester Supreme Elite empty ammo box. One smaller envelope containing one Cruiser Micro 2 gigabyte flash drive with Rick on the back. Sealed envelope containing a 1TB, which is a terabyte, Western Digital Hard Drive. So they have a hard drive. Was it not in a computer? Did they remove that from a computer? Because this was taken from his house. Did he have a separate hard drive that they found? Sealed envelope containing one Samsung phone in a floral case. So the Samsung phone in a floral case 
Richard Allen wouldn't have a floral case, would he? An envelope containing miniature katana with a red tassel. I wanted to see what a miniature katana with a red tassel was, and that's what this is right here. I have no idea how sharp these things are, but it looks like it's the size of a keychain. Sealed envelope with one black sheath and one Rapala fillet knife from garage. One black sheath and one the best defense knife from garage. One black external hard drive and cord. So Richard Allen also had an external hard drive. Can envelope containing one smaller envelope containing one black iPod. Another envelope containing one smaller envelope containing a 32 megabyte SD card and one 256 megabyte SD card. A sealed cardboard box containing one black sheath with an animal imprinted on the front and one large wooden handled knife with a rusted blade from garage. Paper bag containing five miscellaneous vehicle chargers. A paper bag containing nine miscellaneous wall chargers. A paper bag containing miscellaneous phone accessories. A paper bag containing one HP laptop charger. A sealed paper bag containing two pagers, one black and one blue. Who uses pagers anymore? Pedos? A sealed paper bag containing three Motorola and one LG flip phone. So we had four phones already. Now we have five, six, seven, eight phones. And then with the next LG Verizon smartphone, we have nine phones. And then we have a cardboard box containing one LG Verizon side slide smartphone. There's 10. A Motorola Verizon smartphone, 11. And then three older cell phones, one AudioVox, one Nokia, and one Motorola, 13. One cardboard box containing one Nokia Twist cell phone, 14. Garmin box containing one Garmin Street Pilot, two cords, and documentation. A cardboard box containing a plastic bag containing a custom vehicle operations motorcycle cover bag containing a motorcycle cover. So you had a cover for a motorcycle as well. Sealed manila envelope containing a black Pixel 3A cell phone. There's 15. Then we have a sealed manila envelope containing a black Samsung Galaxy phone. 16. A sealed paper bag containing a sealed paper bag sealed by Steve Mullen containing one Aquafina water bottle. Sealed manila envelope containing a silver LG singular wireless flip phone. Is that 16? I'm losing counts. This dude has 16 cell phones already. Sealed envelope containing a cutting of a carpeted area underneath the spare tire of the Ford Focus. That would be the trunk or the hatchback. Sealed envelope containing two plastic wrappers containing one swab from a driver lap belt and one swab of the driver shoulder belt of the Ford Focus. And then we have two plastic wrappers containing two swabs from the passenger side carpeted floorboards. And that is the end of the chain of custody list from Richard Allen's search warrant. Let me know what you think of these items that we just went over in the comment section below and let's keep this conversation going as this trial continues on its way it might be a bumpy bumpy road ahead with fran gall and richard allen's original attorneys but we will be watching and updating you as things happen stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video be sure to check out my other videos and playlists for more true crime content and if that's not enough, you can join our Patreon. Don't have a tinfoil hat? It's okay. We'll make you one. It's that easy. See you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.